I wanted to share one of my swaps with you. And um, this one was inspired. I don't know, I don't know how it happened, but um, you can even see just by the, the choices of my papers um, that it's simple and cool and and crisp. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else to say it, but that's how we think of when we think of fall leaves anyway, right? So I'm gonna use the soft seedling stamp set, which is new in the JD22 mini catalog. And I think you know when I say JD22 mini catalog that I mean the July to December mini catalog. And when I say mini, it is still 86 pages, 87 pages long. So it is quite the catalog and I have had, I'm in love. I'm in love with almost everything is on my wish list. And I know how silly that is because it's not possible to get it all. But I'm gonna bring, um, here, this is, this is the page. I love these both. My husband is a pheasant hunter. So that one is still on my wish list, but I did go ahead and get the soft seedlings right away. And notice it's a distinctive stamp set. And that means it's got some shading built in right on the stamp. And so we're gonna create a beautiful card with that. Okay, let's um, start with that nice big maple leaf stamp. We're gonna ink that up in crumb cake ink, just real lightly, and I'm not even worried about getting everything. Then we're gonna do some shading with uh, Mary Merlot, Cajun Craze, and Crushed Curry. Let's start with Mary Merlot, and I'm gonna get my sponge dauber, and I'm gonna add color to the bottom part of the leaf. So I've already put a little bit of crumb cake on there and now I'm kind of covering it up because I wanted the rest of that to be crumb cake and it, because it's a light color, I knew we would be able to use these other dark colors to get them all um, covered up. So let's now go to, that was Cajun Craze and now we'll add a little bit of crushed curry to the tips here. So then, when all is said and done, we are gonna stamp that on a piece of vanilla cardstock. And I can measure that for you. Um, oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Oh my good gracious. <laughs> no wonder I love this stamp set so much. Um, remember that these um, measurements will be on my blog on Friday, so you'll be able to look there. Those of you watching on YouTube later, um, you can go to my blog. It is on, um, that link is in the comments, or not the comments, in the description of the video. So this is two and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And then I've cut, and let me get rid of these ink pads so I'm not like totally ruining my project by putting something in there. And then we're going to add that to a piece of gold foil that is cut three by three and three quarters. So it's just gonna layer on there with a little bit of gold peeking out. Now, if you had something that you needed cut out of the gold, you could certainly cut it out of the center because you're gonna cover that up anyway. But this is, this is how I'm going with it. And actually, what I maybe should have done first and it's okay that I didn't, it just isn't quite as convenient. But I am going to take my Versamark pad and the little For You sentiment from the stamp set. And then I've got my new embossing powder tray from the mini catalog and I will point that out in just a second. I am going to first Cover my For You with gold embossing powder, and it is ready to roll. So now I'm gonna bring in my heat tool and get that turned on. In my studio here, where it's a little bit more chilly, it takes a little longer for it to warm up. And then I'm just going to heat it 
if I had my tweezers right next to me here, I could be using my tweezers, but it's not too close quarters here. And we're just gonna keep heating it until the magic happens. I remember when I first started stamping, it was one of the first things I invested in, a heat tool and embossing powder, because that was all the rage back then. <laughs> and then for a long time, we took a break. Um, and it did, like if I would have, if I would have uh, stamped the For You and heat that up before I added it to the gold, it probably wouldn't have warped so much. So that was my boo-boo, but um, it's still warm, so we can probably smooth that out for the most part. There, not too bad. Next, I'm gonna bring in my card base, which is a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inch thick, very vanilla cardstock. And here is a hidden gem in the new JD22 mini catalog, and that is this beautiful leafy embossing folder. So when I bring in the catalog again, we'll, we'll take a peek at where to see this, but we're just gonna put the front part of my card in. Um, so I'll just line up the edge with the, with the score line from my card. And then we'll grab our big boss. It is a larger embossing folder, so we do have to have the large, the big boss. And then we need to have, it's a 3D embossing folder, so we need to have plate one. And then our folder with the paper. And then plate four. So we'll run that through. So we get this beautifully embossed leafy image. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I missed that embossing folder the first several times through the catalog. So, um, and I'm gonna tell you a little tip when we get that far um, to bring out the catalog. But here I've got my card base. And then one thing that I love, I love this vellum look. So we're just gonna add vellum uh, mostly to the center um, for the adhesive. And then we're gonna put this right in the middle of our card. Then we've got this new beautiful satin edge ribbon. Look at my, look at my hands, they're so inky right now. I've been stamping like crazy. Um, so this is a vanilla ribbon, satin edged with a gold um, thread through there and it is so pretty. So we're gonna wrap that around the front of the card and just tie it in a knot. And we're gonna move that over, over to that right side. And then we're gonna trim these down pretty far, get our ends nice and short. And then the last thing is just to put this on. So we've got Stampin' Dimensionals that we're gonna put on the back. And I like to be generous with my dimensionals. So I'm gonna do six. I'm gonna put one in each corner and two kind of across the middle there. And then this is just gonna line up beautifully over the vellum and over that ribbon for a gorgeous finish. Holy buckets. I am in love with that card. <laughs> now let's bring that catalog back in. If you're not sure if you're missing something in here, my suggestion to you would be to head to the back. You've got these great reference pages here where you can easily find some things. So I was just like, hmm, I wonder if there are any embossing folders in this catalog. So I came here to the back and then I found these embossing folders and lo and behold, there was the Leaf Fall 3D embossing folder. So that is what I am using here. And this back page helped me because I don't know that I would have found it on page 53. It is on the page with this. 
but it's kind of hiding up here. And to me, I'm not always seeing those things. So just, just a clue to go to the back and then you can find that there. There was one other thing I was going to show you wasn't there. And I can't remember for sure what that was. Um, but that ribbon is another thing that you can find here in the back. You can find it here and then it tells you the page number. So page 31. So then you can go and find out what suite it was designed to go with. And I'm not shocked to see that it, it's lights aglow because that is a super popular, beautiful um, suite. So that is how I use my mini catalog. Thank you so much for being here today. It has been a ton of fun to share a gorgeous card for the fall. And I think it's just an eye-catching, um, easy to maneuver technique with those sponge daubers right onto the stamp. So thanks for joining me. I will see you back here again. Mm -hmm.